Hello, I'm Jeanette Cole and I teach drawing and painting courses and today I'll be showing you how to paint an ocean wave in acrylics. I'll be using a, a selection of brushes, um, both round and flat, and also a sponge. Um, I'll be using just four colours today and they are going to be Windsor Blue, Thalo Green, Permanent Rose and Titanium White. OK, and uh, I'll be painting on a canvas as well. So let's begin. OK, so first of all, um, I've painted uh, underpainting. Um, and to do this, um, I've actually used the phthalo blue and some white and some permanent rose. I've mixed those together um, and with a, a very large um, flat brush, I've painted the colour across the canvas. Um, I've then painted uh, a very uh, simple outline actually um, of the wave um, before I get started. Okay so um, to begin with then I'm going to start adding some white. Um, to do this I'm going to use a sponge and uh, I'm going to start working here at the top of the wave itself to get the spray of the water and to get the feeling that it's splashing so it makes very irregular marks when you're using a sponge I'm just building up the white now so that it's uh, thicker in some areas. So just building up the, the colour here and we get some of the underpainting, the blue coming through so um, that's really good, that's why we do it, um, to put the first colour down first. Okay, so now I'm going to start adding in some colours into the wave um, itself. I'm going to start by using my large flat brush to do this. And start with some darker colours coming in. lighter as I come over to the right hand side of the canvas. So with the darker colour, um, I've added in some permanent rose, um, so that's a beautiful pink and I've added that into the phthalo green and, uh, and the Windsor blue, so and that's producing that very dark colour there. in to this part of the painting. 
So with the lighter colours, I've just added white um, and uh, literally used the Windsor blue and the phthalo green and added white to them, to these colours, these mixtures. Now I'm just going to use a smaller flat brush actually and uh, I'm going to add in some darker colours here to the right hand side. There's a bit of background colour there. and put some very dark areas here, here in the top. So again, this is my permanent rose, my Windsor blue and my phthalo green uh, mixed together. So let's get some dark in now as contrast. using uh, rounded uh, brush strokes here to create the shape of the wave. light in on the left hand side. I've got a grey that I'm going to start building into here now and the grey was uh, a combination again of the permanent uh, rose, the Windsor blue and the phthalo green all mixed together and um, added some white to those as well so I'm just doing some circular movements at the moment with the brush. So let's get some lighter parts back in. more white being added to the top of the wave. So little bits of uh, white we're adding. So let's uh, give a contrast now to the shape of the wave with some added white. So 
So it's building up the white areas here now. So more contrast. So just adding in some lighter colours here, back into the into the wave itself. This is the beauty of acrylics that you can um, overpaint and put um, light colours over the top of dark um, and vice versa. being added in now. So we're nearly there. Just add in a little bit more light over on the right hand side of the canvas. And let's go back to the sponge now. some more light to the uh, right hand side. Blending the colours back in now. of this lighter colour um, and again it's um, the Windsor Blue, Phthalo Green and a little bit of uh, white in there to mix this colour together. Soften that down a little bit and finishing touches now just adding in a touch more of this very dark colour exciting bit now <laughs> putting these dark really lovely dark colors in really rich colors um, don't forget that was the uh, 
three colours again, uh, permanent rose, uh, winter blue and phthalo green. Bit more dark there. Right, and last bit of sponging, then we'll be done. Okay, so um, I'll leave it there. Okay, so you can see the effects that you can create with a sponge and brushes in acrylics, and you can paint on paper as well as on a canvas. So I hope you enjoy painting your ocean waves.